For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Thursday, December 24th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. Five COVID-19 deaths and 73 new positive tests were reported in Vermont on Wednesday. There have now been 117 deaths and 6,680 cases of the virus in the state. There were nine new positive tests reported in Wyndham County on Wednesday for totals of 389 cases with five deaths. 21 deaths and 571 new positive test results for COVID-19 reported in New Hampshire on Wednesday. The current statewide totals are 38,512 cases with 677 deaths. Cheshire County, New Hampshire reported 22 new positive tests on Wednesday for totals of 1,107 cases and 6 deaths. 81 newly confirmed deaths and 4,509 new confirmed COVID-19 cases reported in Massachusetts on Wednesday. The total number of confirmed cases since March statewide in Massachusetts is 322,652 with 11,630 deaths. There were two deaths and three new positive tests reported in Franklin County on Wednesday for totals of 1,000. 153 cases and 88 deaths. The National Weather Service has forecast a significant multi-hazard storm to occur beginning this evening, bringing high winds and heavy rain, especially in southern Vermont. Along with these conditions, temperatures will be rising to over 50 degrees through this afternoon through tomorrow morning. This should allow, unfortunately, for significant snow melt Several hours of above freezing temperatures combined with heavy rainfall in the early morning hours of Christmas Day could lead to potentially significant flooding. Vermonters are encouraged to prepare ahead of the storm for the possibility of flooding and scattered power outages. Residents that live close by to waterways should be especially vigilant and heed local and state safety precautions. The New Hampshire Attorney General's Office wants you to be on the lookout for scams related to the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine. Due to the high demand for the vaccine, scammers may take the opportunity to attempt to fraudulently obtain money or personal identifying information from consumers by representing that they can provide facts, fast access rather to a COVID-19 vaccination. Any telephonic or email representation that a COVID-19 vaccination can be provided quickly in exchange for money or personal identifiable information is a scam. The COVID-19 vaccine will be available to the American people, no cost, regardless of insurance status. Brattleboro Town offices will be closed at 12 p.m. today and will be closed tomorrow with the exception of emergency services. Brooks Memorial Library will stop curbside service at 12 p.m. today and will not be available on Friday. Curbside service will resume at 10 a.m. on Saturday, December 26. Parking is free at all metered spaces and in the pay and display lots after 12 p.m. today and all day tomorrow. WTSA Sports, Jason Tatum hit a go-ahead three-point shot with seconds remaining. The Celtics open up the season with a come-from-behind win over Milwaukee, 122-121. to Jalen Brown scored 33 points for Boston, who next visit Indiana on Sunday. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Thursday, December 24th, my name is Ian Kelly. Have a tremendous and safe holiday, everybody.